What is going on everybody? Stud City here today and we're going to do a Stud City update based on rearranging our LEGO City. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, let's jump straight on into today's video. First things first guys, we are keeping, and I'm going to paint you an image, a train that's going to go all the way around uh, the city, okay? Uh, so that's going to happen with our two bridges, one's going to be fold up and that one's also going to be a fold up bridge and that's going to be our workstation. Okay, so we got that out of the way, we're keeping the train all the way around. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rearrange modulars because I'm not completely satisfied with it. I think it might be more beneficial for us to leave this area open and have our entire city kind of the main focus section over here. And then it will break maybe a little residential and maybe the greenery over here. I think it just makes a little bit more sense. So let's go ahead and give that a go and start moving some things around and see what we can come up with. Also, I do want to mention we are... Fully going to keep the elevated train. That is 100% happening. Uh, I'm just going to re-shimmy the city and see what, what other designs we can come up with. But I like the idea of uh, buildings being close to a train. Uh, kind of gives me that city vibe and feel. Uh, but let's go ahead and move some stuff and see what we can come up with. and Get some road plates back so we don't have to have that long stretch there. And we are back and switched it up. Now, the other thing I was going to recommend to you guys and get a nice suggestion is the new lego website has the bricks and pieces where you can order the half greens and i think they're like four dollars and fifty cents i'm wondering for the back that whole length right there i think i would need probably around 10 of them just glancing at it should we switch those over to a half base plate for the train tracks and we'll get essentially have a base plate back that'll go right up to our lego city and we could push this all the way back and have a little bit room for a little bit more scenes uh, I think that is something we might have to do and we'll probably end up not tiling that back train track just because it's going to get covered and it's fairly hard to see, if you may notice. Now on the straights, we're going to make our own crossroads and kind of go into the wall and, you know, just call it there uh, for both sides over here. But anyways, back to the city section. Uh, I think this is a decent view, kind of something I'm more looking forward to. Uh, you have six <laughs> modulars in this small section plus three on this side. And then you have your um, year, year of the Lantern, I believe, set. I think that's the name of it. Or Spring Lanterns Festival, that's it. Uh, kind of going into Ninjago, then have all this space to design something. Uh, and that's a lot of room to work with. And then obviously Ninjago elevated up in the air. Now we do have our train that's gonna go through here, all across and around. So that is still a go. That is our design. May even, uh, just to add some depth, Bring it even farther, I don't know, uh, just to kind of clear this section and have buildings and buildings um, where this kind of goes into the residential. And I was thinking start this and to like a forest, like a deep forest, like off road into a forest and this whole section would be pretty mystical. <laughs> uh, maybe even keep some residential up front and then in the back keep it all mystical. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, and then on the opposite side, uh, that is not gonna go there, it's probably gonna go on the far side of the city. Uh, we did decide to keep this section, just kind of remove some modulars and place them differently. But I think this does look pretty good. Uh, and you're kind of optimizing your backdrop of the Daily Bugle and our skyscraper, which is a work in progress. Uh, and then obviously your train's going to go behind that and all the way around. Uh, we could probably essentially do the same thing on this, get a half a base plate back if we reduce that. <sighs> it's a lot of work, guys. A lot of cool stuff to do. Uh, this is looking pretty good, though. And we're back guys uh this this video is more an ideas video and moving stuff around and shifting it uh, i'm gonna like dwell on this i don't want to like remove everything and go from there but i kind of like this layout like i think this could work i think this is a good base layout uh, but i want to hear what you guys think any thoughts opinions uh let me know in the comments below i think it looks pretty good i think there's a lot of good ideas going into it uh there's a lot of work that needs to be done and we'll get there like i always say we'll get there uh but for now we could like finalize in a base plan idea and then start actually working on it. Like, I don't want to just be like, oh, this is what we're going with. Start working on it, get all the details, tiling and all that. And it's like, whoa, we're not doing that. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. We can always rebuild the world, right? Uh, but yeah, that's essentially it for today's video. I hope you found it uh, entertaining. I, I sure did recording this. This was a fun one. Uh, but again, leave a comment below. Any suggestions, any thoughts on the current present day Stud City? Uh, I'd love to hear it uh, as we continue to work. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Stud City out.